The pounding rains last week took a toll on a small but well-traveled side bridge in Kyle. It was forced to shut down after some damage. As KXAN's Ignacio Garcia found out, locals are still trying to figure out ways to avoid the city's stifling traffic. Drivers like Marvin Manley are still trying to break the habit, driving up Burleson Street trying to connect to the southbound I-35 access road. But storm damage to a short bridge that relieves downtown traffic flow was forced to close. I got to go all the way into downtown and then back this way and, and, and leave the same way. It's, it's very inconvenient. This whole bridge has been in existence for 98 years. And in that time, it's been underwater many times. But when city workers noticed water bubbling up from the surface, it was time to shut it down. A city spokesman said the Burleson Bridge over Plum Creek had survived a lot of water force before, but caved this time. After the water went down, and we were able to um, inspect the bridge. We found where undermining had occurred around the base of it and also some, some damage along the, the top part of it. Crews still need more time to figure out the extent of the damage. Meantime, Manley, like other drivers, is still trying to figure out how to avoid downtown traffic. The traffic is horrendous there downtown, Kyle, so... You're going to have to make do, huh? I'd make do. you got to do what you got to do. In Kyle, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. So road crews have blocked all north and southbound traffic over the Burleson Bridge, and they don't know how many weeks it'll take to repair that damaged span.